Now this emotional needs to be translated into action. And this emotionalism, if we have to translate, as some of my colleagues has pointed out, that we need unity. Yes, we do need unity. I do agree with that. We do need unity. We don't need unity of leaders, but we need unity of masses. What we need is unity of masses. This is what Dr. Amitra said when he accepted Buddhism. He said that this is a way of life. <coughs> this is my new way of life. And he said in the new way of life, Atta Deepa Bhava is going to be the principle. That I am going to be the enlightened person. I am going to enlighten myself. And if we want to enlighten ourselves, I will say that we should learn to cooperate with each other as the present jyoti that has been taken out, the ashes that were Dr. Bahasa remember the sacred ashes which was taken along with the bill which moved from village to village, which from district to district. And we had a gathering of people. I think so, that emotional bond of the common man should be developed and that bond is going to be the answer for tomorrow. What all we are thinking today is of a political leverage. My answer to this, unless socially people change, no political changes takes place. So what is basically an Ambedkarite movement? I will say Ambedkarite movement is a movement which lays the agenda before the nation. What is our duty? Our duty is to consolidate the agenda. Our duty is to articulate the agenda. And once the agenda is articulated before the nation, once the agenda is articulated before the nation, then the whole forces start their own reactions. And then after some time we see that the agenda which we have articulated doesn't become an article, uh, doesn't become an agenda of some people, but becomes an agenda of the nation. This is where the strength of the whole Ambedkarite movement is. Politically, as I have said, you do, we do need a force. But at the same time, what is needed, as I would say, is a social force and a social force with an agenda behind it. And therefore, I may request to all the SCST organizations, which have a very small and limited agenda before them, it's a good that they have moved out. But I have been criticizing all these SCST organizations. But I have been sitting with them from right from 1982 trying to infuse that when the time for promotion comes, you will get promotion. When your time comes for an increment, you will get an increment. But the focus of the SCST organization, which I consider them, them to be the middle class of the Ambedkarite movement, a middle class is basically an opinion developer and unless an opinion is developed it can't be propagated we can't live in a vacuum today what is happening there is a vacuum instead of we becoming an agenda setters we have become a reactionary forces we react a situation which develops, we react. A reactionary movement is not a social movement. 
it is only a moment of status quo it's a moment of status quo we don't want to go beyond and since we don't want to go beyond what we say is that let us remain where we are 